The Apple AirPods Pro are about to become hearing aids. Good luck getting FDA approval on this, Apple. I figure a lot of, you know, uh, audiologists and um, I don't know, ear, nose and throat doctors or whoever would be prescribing these have probably just been prescribing the same brand for forever. Though a lot of people at these hearing aid companies will lose their jobs, but whatever. I mean, good. These hearing aids are ripoffs. All right. Hello, how the tech are you? My name is HK Perrin. I'm a software engineer. Uh, and today I've got a really interesting uh, story kind of related to software. The Apple AirPods Pro are about to become hearing aids. Uh, Apple is introducing a feature that allows the AirPods Pro second generation to act as FDA approved hearing aids. The FDA approval is pending, but should happen in time for the feature release. And when paired with an iPhone, you will be able to test your hearing and set up your AirPods as clinical grade hearing aids. This comes after modern hearing aids are just starting to catch up to the features of modern Bluetooth earbuds. Hearing aids often sell in the range of thousands of dollars, at least in the US. So this will probably cause a major price adjustment to bring hearing aids down to a not so insane price. Really the only difference between modern hearing aids and something like a Bluetooth earbud is software. So what do you guys think? Good luck getting FDA approval on this Apple. The FDA is uh, <laughs> FDA moves very, very slowly. Yeah. Uh, they've been trying at it for a while though. So this is kind of like they're on the home stretch. Uh, so this should release soon. That's good. And there are, there's already downward pressure uh, in the hearing aid market. There are some companies that are making more reasonably priced hearing aids that are also <clears throat> like Bluetooth earbuds essentially. Um, mm -hmm. But they're, they're not these companies don't have the the, the social and market uh, cachet that Apple does, so it's, they're not going to put as much uh, downward pressure on the pricing because, <clears throat> like I, I figure, a lot of you know uh, audiologists and um, I don't know ear, nose, and throat doctors or whoever would be prescribing these have probably just been prescribing the same brand for forever. Like you know how like I just buy if I want a new microphone, I just buy one made by Sure. I'm assuming that other people, even in professional capacities where they're dealing in healthcare, will also operate in much the same way. But Apple has enough uh, social cachet and like sort of just cachet in the overall like tech marketplace that they would definitely be more. They'd, they'd be able to put they'd be able to put more downward pressure on uh, on the, the mm -hmm. hearing on on hearing aids. Now I don't imagine because that <clears throat> I imagine that like a, a proper hearing aid is probably going to be a little bit better than than ear than AirPods but it's probably not going to be enough better that it's worth the extra money. <laughs> well, I know like my dad had uh, hearing aids. He doesn't wear often enough, but that's beside the point. But uh, I think he had some pretty good high tech ones where you could like, there was like an app for his phone. Like you put him in they you know, you couldn't really see him. And then it would connect like Bluetooth to his phone and an app to, to control it. So he could do stuff, not just like turn up and down the volume, which is useful, but I think he could actually adjust like what it was amplifying. So he could, get it to increase voices more than, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and than background noise. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if, uh, Apple could do yeah. something similar. Uh, in the article, they do mention that Apple is, uh, like this feature would allow you to amplify specifically voices. Oh, good. Very cool. nice. So and yeah, they're, they're going to do the same thing. And if they get approved for this, there's nothing stopping them from making a more, uh, like purpose specific, uh, hearing aid using the same sort of technology that's in the, the the existing like earbuds, then the the FDA approval for that would be much quicker if it was more or less the same device, but designed specifically for like an always in or nearly always in hearing aid versus uh, headphones. And so that's yeah. that would probably be the next step. I'm not a I'm not a Apple CEO, but they're no dummies. And like, not everybody wants that. You know what I mean? Not everybody wants this thing sticking out of their ear. And so if they get this approved, I can't imagine that they don't have something already in the works that is more discreet, like, yeah. a, like a regular hearing aid. That's good. That's good, though. A lot of people at these hearing aid companies will lose their jobs, but whatever. I mean, good. These hearing aids are ripoffs. Well, but that's not the engineer's fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can go work for Apple then. Oh, wonderful. Everybody <laughs> could just go work for Apple. <laughs> yeah. That would be fantastic. Apple of, uh, Apple of, I mean, uh, like, Apple honestly, these hearing aid companies will probably be able to, to survive just fine only having, you know, a 200% markup instead of like a 1000% a markup. Yeah. And there's just medical devices. People don't talk about it enough, but when, when you, 
<clears throat> when you deal with like healthcare costs, like medical devices, not just for yourself, but the things the hospital has to buy and buy repeatedly and upgrade and and get recalibrated by the manufacturer. There's just there's just people are just raking in the dough in that industry. So mm -hmm. well, I guess the CEOs are are definitely taking home big bonuses every year. And the uh, investors, everybody, it's it's <clears throat> ripe for as they would say disruption. But the problem is. <laughs> the problem is, I, I don't know. I don't know about all that. I mean, you know, the Stryker Medical Group or whatever, they're they're probably this an awful company, but do we really want Peter Thiel propping up a startup that gets rid of the Stryker Medical Group? I don't know. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking out How the Tech Are You? You can find this on every podcatcher and on YouTube. If you'd like to support this project, just go to echoplexmedia.com. Click the support link at the top of the website. I don't know. Click around there, too. I write one blog post a year. You should read my most recent one. You can check out uh, our other shows, my other shows, uh, twitch.tv slash echoplexmedia, and uh, have a great tech and week.